Hello everyone, and welcome back to Pokemon Legends Arceus. In the last episode, we discovered, we, we received the red chain, we are told that the commander was coming up here to try to steal, to try to defeat the Pokemon behind that rift, and we have to stop him because we have the thing that can seal it. And I'm assuming it's in the cave, I don't know exactly what's going to happen. Um, why isn't Stone Portal... Is there anything in here? Did, was this cave really necessary? Well, there's a person in here. Wait, I'm sorry, what? I can just, <laughs> they can just climb that wall. No graveyard is not working here. Also, I can surprise I can summon Pokemon in this cave. Normally, it doesn't work. Wait, is that Benji? It is. Oh, still alive and kicking. Sorry about having to shatter the wall, shatter the wallflower. I'd much rather be there now, serving up some freshly grilled potato mochi. But that task master Komodo's gone and left me to oversee our food supply. He always finds a way to put even these old bones to work. While well, I'm handling that, I suppose I'll handle you as well. Time we got rid of you once and for all. Well, it makes sense. He never liked us in the first place. I'll make myself self plain. As Kamala's right hand. Wait, he's just right hand? I'm, that's surprising. I'm charged with executing all the gritty deeds. Com Commando. Oh, Commando. I just got. I think that's a pun I just got. Maybe. I don't know yet. Wait, Commando can't wait or won't do himself. I gave him my word. I'd get rid of any fools that might dream of getting in the way of his plans. And besides, it's not just Kamando that who longs to live in a new home free of fear of I cannot pronounce his name. His dream is mine now, too. You've seen my smoke bombs before, right? Well, this is how you meet, you're meant to use them. Oh, that's a cool outfit. When I heard you managed to quell those nobles one after another, oh, did I ever make my blood run hot and my heart pound. At last, at last. One final opponent worthy of my great ninja techniques that I've been left to model, molder all of these long years. Four Pokemon. Alright. I'm gonna stream this, and I think I'm sending out Samurai, which is a great type matchup for me. I think. Dark's effective against Ghost, right? And that's Rousey. That's. Yeah. Yes, this is how it's effective. Go so for short stance and just attack. And then see some edge. And the same as he does it move. Power gym, great. Try to see again. Two drops you to move. Of course. I don't want us to know just when it's possible. Oh, this worked. Now you think it's all right. Yes. Let's go for a crunch now. I am glad I used baby doll. Never mind. Anyway, I don't ever see now. Guess you don't one hit, I'll just do strong style. Sneezler. And of course has quick attack when he goes first. Twice! Look, quick attack increases action speed. Three times! And close combat! That is... what? I'm pretty sure fighting type was good against that. No. That said, psychic is. Where is it? Can you call mine? Psychic. Oh. Oh no. 
That's not good. Really not good. I really should use Rip Grit items to increase my stats. Wolfic, actually. Sure. Good flow. Those cybers, if I can get some that side case, I don't know if they're the way around either. Oh! And that's even better, I get two attacks. Nothing guard of our can do. One Pokemon left. It's, it's Glade. Of course it's Glade. Should attack again. And it has sword damage to use its offensive attack. Psycho Pokemon! I'm surprised I survived that. Well, let's hope a strong as hell is that does it, because I can't take another hit with Dreadful Bomb. And it worked! It seems our ninja techniques will soon be consigned to history. Why don't Pokemon level up when I mean gain XP from these fights when they faint? Very good, young one. Very good indeed. It is only a foolish ninja who tries to keep after a target they know can, they cannot beat. And to be honest, I don't hate you. Might actually like you after a fashion. At least for the skill you show in battle. But listen well, XY. Pokemon are truly terrifying creatures. I've heard that like five times already in the scenes. Kamado and I saw our hometown burn to the ground by maddened Pokemon running amok. We lost plenty of friends and comrades that day. That's why Kamado came here to Sui, to try to build a new home where people could live free from fear. But to achieve something truly great, you sometimes have to take extreme actions. If hypothetical as it may be, a Pokemon were to appear from that space-time rift, Kamado might lose hold of his reason. To save Kamado from himself, by force if you must, you know, save him from himself. To do that, I'll stuff you full of more delicious potato mochi that a human stomach can handle. And heal my Pokemon, apparently. This is Mural again. It shows a bunch of legendaries. I don't know what it is. So, let's go. Oh, okay, so let's get attracted to Volo before talking to those two. What's this? Have you buy everything you need? Uh, so let's see, what can I buy? Full restores? I can buy Ultra Balls. I have 34. Oh, yeah, that event. I'll buy a couple Max Potions. Not 11. Four will be good. Four Max Revives. That's a full heal. I'll buy one full restore. All right, let's talk to let's talk to these two. You brought the red chain. X Y, you're the only one who can stop whatever is unfolding atop the mountain. That Pokemon that's apparently been sighted through the rift. I, I think it might be Almighty Sinnoh, but Commander Kimono stopped us from heading towards the temple. Is that armor? I can't tell. My Sarah seems to be nearly here, but still the commander affects us. That Pokemon threatening to destroy to descend the aim moment now. I think it might be already soon now. But all this has to be stopped, and you're the only one who can do it. I can see some galaxy members in here. Yeah, no, there, there is some armor on him, but it's just the back of the head that I thought was a helmet. It's kind of like one, but you again. I've heard that this red chain of yours will bind the world. I assume to bind the world means to hold the world together, keeping it as it's meant to be. A welcome idea, but can I truly put my faith in such tales? I, yeah, that's the best I can do, I guess.
What do you think? What do you even think the red chain is? Some. Why can't I? Re I what? Do you think that even the red chain is some trick on XY's part? He worked mightily to get that thing, and I should know. I was with him the whole time. I saw him raise the trials set by the three Pokemon of the lakes. If he somehow concocted all that on his own, then what hope do we even have anyway? Perhaps you're right. But if I were to simply place my faith in this boy, and that faith were to be betrayed, then how could I possibly face my people? Then work together with us. Should something go wrong, I'll take complete responsibility. Fine. Enough. Let fate decide what will happen next. Whether or which, whichever one of us is stronger will prevail. Face me with your Pokemon. Today we battle in earnest. As long as you can heal him. And that is a cool suit of armor, too. Graviary. And I'm going to go to Samurai. Oh, so this is this? Oh, yeah, it's a psychic type. Alright, let's go with that. Max Potion. Let's just take it out. Hopefully it will work. Alright, that worked. Snorlax. And just gonna hit multiple times. High force power, oh no. Okay, that's not as bad as I thought. It's still gonna hit multiple times. That was more than I thought. I'll go for a sword dance. Not me either. Uh, then who does the most damage? 70, 65, 85, probably the most strong style. That didn't do much. And now she's being attacked. Guard of art looks like the best choice here. Uh, uh, I use this tile. Uh, All right, now for an aura spear. Let's hope we it out. in this game? I don't know. Looks like more spear is effective again. And I saw a calm mine up, so let's go with that. And there's that skill. For Fable, please don't hit Axe first, hit Axe first. Thing is full. No, let's see what Pokemon I have. Actually, can I use a. No. Alright, let's the track at least. I guess parachute then. That's my best bet. <laughs> Let's just go for a strong style Iron Tail and hope to take it out the floor. Hey, this is an Alpha Pokemon after all. So. And now it's gonna get two attacks. Great! There goes Parachute! This means I can send in Gibble, I guess. 
Pokemon that threatens our life here must be eliminated. Wait, is that him? Yeah, that's him. It just didn't. I just couldn't tell because it didn't give his name tag. You truly are a force to be reckoned with. Oh, what the? That's surprising. X Y. The fates have decided. I concede. And I apologize sincerely for doubting you, Commander. I know I have no right of, to ask it of you any longer, but please, use that strength of yours for the sake of the Galaxy Expedition Team. No, for the sake of the Celestia people and all the Pokemon living in Insui. That kind of was the plan. Don't you worry, Commander. We've got the red chain. Alright, let's head to the top of Mount Coronet then. Wait, why did they bring us down there to fight? Oh, do you have anything to say? The commander's heading to the temple, but I fear this situation is already beyond our control. So it looks like on the left side we have the right Pokemon, and on the right side we have the nobles. Never mind, it's reversed here. That is tiny compared to what it was when I first fought it. I probably should have talked to them first. It's time to use the red chain. Let's see what it can do. Hold on a sec. My head, something's talking inside my head. Like Pokemon? You hold the red chain. Try to catch me then, human. But Adamant, what are you saying? What do you mean, catch you? Almighty Sinnoh, I, I think Almighty Sinnoh just spoke to me. It's telling me, you hold the red chain. Try to catch me, then, human, for the fight to come. Take these. Ten Ultra Ball, that's actually very useful. Considering I used all my Great Balls. So then, what is it going to be? Um, Palkia, I think that was good. I don't remember. Well, that, I, I think, is that the same or does it look, I don't remember if that's different. I should have saved. A 
do I just get to catch it regardless? Get out of there, regroup! Remember what I said, or what that Pokemon said to me? It was saying, try to catch me. Hmm, if you have the strength to defeat it, surely you'll be able to catch it as well. Yeah, that's just did way more damage than I thought it would. I I remember. That did way more damage than I thought, so I'll just go for, uh, what's it called? Why can't I remember moves names? Aura Spear, that's it. Let's go for an Aura Spear. Never mind! Alright, what do I have? Guess I can go for a Gabite. I have one hit, so I'm going for a Star Style one. And there's one time. Super effective. Alright, just need a little bit more damage. Extra Sensor is not very effective, let's go with that. Perfect, got it in the red. And now let's go for a great can zoom in. That's interesting. Anyway, go for an ultra ball. Okay. I figured this would take a couple tries. Go again for another ultra ball. For another extra sensory. Or I just catch it now. He caught it. The red chain is shattered, but we owe the Pokemon of the lakes our thanks for getting us this far. Oh, well done, x my boy. Masterfully handled. I was watching the whole time as you battled and cut your way to a simply stunning victory. You truly are the pride of the Survey Corps. Looks like I taught him well. Wait, it's happening again. I can hear Almighty Sinnoh. No, it's called Diaga. Almighty Diaga is speaking to me in my mind. Space-time is torn. Awful power spills forth. The frenzy one. Comes to fight. Now, human, fight it with me. You're telling me there's another one? But the red chain smashed to bits. No way even XY could take another Pokemon as strong as the last one. But I have one. I have a legendary in my own now. around. All of you must vacate this. God, forget the fancy talk. Book it, come on. We gotta make it back to summon camp while we still can. We need to leave before this other almighty Sinnoh decides it wants to fight us. But, Commander, we can't just leave it here. 
You don't you won't be able to use it to anybody if you die up here on this mountain. What are you waiting for? I'm telling you, we gotta get going. Such dreadful power, it's certainly beyond our current capabilities to survey such a creature. I'm amazed you even managed to stay on your feet before it, XY. And did you know the energy pouring out of the rift? It seems like li likely that buildup of the same energy is what causes the green lightning that threw the noble Pokemon into their frenzied states. I can't believe there really were two Almighty Sinnoh after all. Guess that means another of our plans were really wrong, huh? I must apologize from the bottom of my heart. To the both of you as fellow leaders, you saw the truth that I could not. You never abandoned your trust in XY and QXY. I acted on ill-considered presumptions and drove you from the Galaxy Expedition Team, forcing you to face great hardship alone. And despite all that, you still strove to save all of Asui. Well, it's not like we could just sit back and ignore the space-time rift. And we understood, Commander, that you had reasons to act as you did. Commander, might I suggest we return to the matter at hand? We left things at quite a state up at the temple. That's the stuff, Mr. Professor. You'd rather face what's in front of us than dwell in the past, huh? Just what I'd expect from a real scientist. A dependable attitude, indeed. Yes, let us move on. No need to speak any further about my rash actions. Not to mention my loss of composure. It seems that having XY about has been a good influence on all. Yeah, thank goodness you were here, huh? We'd have no chance of getting through this disaster without you. We're still not through it, though. How's, how's he to keep fighting? The red chain is shattered. Relax, I've got a plan. Thanks to what mighty Dialga told me. Dialga, the Pokemon that spoke to you? Yeah. And along with this name, it also told me what we need. The Stone of Creation's Beginning. The Chain of Red. The Vestal of Humankind's Inventions. Un un unite these three and calm the chaos now pervading space. And finally, Mighty Diago set out once to go with us back to the temple. Well, the Red Chain, we have it. At least, the pieces anyway. I did collect them. And the Vessel of Humankind's Invention, I dare say, that might refer to a Pokeball. That's gotta be it, but what about the Stone of Creation's beginning part? Leon might have some idea. He's knowledgeable about stones and minerals. He even goes digging for ore sometimes. Is that so? The more than Lillian would be a fine root console. And what are your thoughts, Professor Gladington? Do you have any idea what this stone could be? The slates, maybe? Oh, upon my word, perhaps I do. XY, my boy, could you lend me those plates you received from Weirder and the others? Okay, yeah, I was right. The ones that Volo said had messages engraved upon them. Oh yeah, I never really did read those, did I? And there's the old verses, too, if we need them. Aha, just as I remembered. Here in the back of the Earth plate, it says, When the universe was created, its shards became this plate. I think this may be a hint to what we need. How do you mean? Don't you see? We must search for stone, or rather ore, I suppose, that shares the same mineral properties as these plates. In fact, I believe that young Leon might know just where to find such a thing, as he said he's been investigating it at Volo's Earth Stream. Now that you mention it, that Volo's fellows come around the Diamond Settlement asking about those plates before, too. This seems like a lead worth following. It's decided, then. Thus begins our search for the Stones of Creation's beginning. Although the name is rather mouthful, wouldn't you say I propose we call it Origin Ore? Arita, may we ask for your clan's aid once more? Of course, I'll call Leon to summit camp at once. I waited as long as anyone could reasonably expect, but my invitation just never came. So I decided to honor you with an unsolicited visit. Be glad and rejoice. Now, Adaman, I see all the other louts have their little tasks to be getting on with. But what are the great Melly? Where is my role in all this? I'm your leader, Melly. Show a shred of res show a shred of show a shred of respect, would you? 
Fine, whatever, just hurry up and give me a job. Green Leader Adaman, and make it a good one. You want a job? Fine, your job is to support the others. All the other wardens are busy looking after their nobles and keeping the people of our clans from panicking. Take a hint. Oh, Adaman, oh, you silly floors boy. Don't you understand anything? Everyone has work they're suited for, deserted to, and work they are not. And oh, before I forget, it seems you weren't entirely useless after all, Galaxy Team Grunt. Well done, you. Take this as a reward for your adorable efforts. Just my way of encouraging the little people. And you're also little compared to me. I don't like this guy. Three candy truffles. I brought Lillian. Yes. That ugly hat suits you poorly as this important role does. I don't like this at all. I should be the one consulted for my wisdom. Masui's orange and ores and stones are her precious resource. Since I was first to realize that fact, it's only natural that I should be the first consulted. If you have a problem with it, perhaps you'd like to take it up with Cleaver in battle, with that bumbling ball of yours. Excuse me? That bumbling ball is capable of zapping both you and the ugly bug of yours all the way back to your stupidly oversized tree. Should I prove that to you now? Nelly, like, give it a rest and play nice with the Pro Clan folks for once. Would you? Bigger things are at stake here. But, Adam, man! Everyone's back home is all worked up about the fact that you were just spoken to by Almighty Sinnoh, or Mighty Dialga, or whatever. This is the Diamond Clan's day. Be proud. Warden Leon, if you would. Certainly. Then let's head over at once. We make for the Prim Primidal Grotto. Alright, um, that took a lot longer than I thought it would, and I am probably way over my time limit. So, in between episodes, I'm going to switch out my party, probably put Dialga, I think it was, on my team. And until then, I'll see you all later. Bye!